and today I'm going to talk about external parasites in poultry. So first, some definitions. What is poultry? Poultry is domesticated fowl, such as chickens, ducks, geese, and turkeys. Not always, but usually they're used for meat and egg production. And what is a parasite? A parasite is an organism that lives on or in, in a host in order to obtain nutrients at the host's expense. And today I'm talking about external parasites, so those are the ones that live on the outside of the body, whereas internal parasites live inside the body. So how can you tell if your bird has parasites? Um, you can do a physical examination, so you pick up your bird, and we'll just talk about chickens, for instance, and you'll look at the feather shots. So you'll part the feathers, and you can see the um, parasites move around. You also want to look at the base of the feathers where the feather meets the skin. Um, some common places to look for parasites are the neck feathers, underneath the wings, the vent area, and the back. And you can also, on white birds, you can kind of tell if they have mites or lice because they'll be dirty, but with colored birds, it's harder to tell. Um, some other symptoms are decreased egg production, weight loss, decreased food intake, and they'll have a weakened immune system and be more susceptible to disease. So the two most common parasites, external parasites in poultry are poultry lice and northern fowl mites. And you can see the picture, you can kind of see the difference between the two. So poultry lice are two to three millimeters long. So they're, I mean small, but they're fairly decent size. You can see them. Um, they move fast and most people think lice are white, but they're actually a light brown color and their eggs are white. They have six legs, they don't have any wings, and their bodies are flat and they have broad round heads. Usually the lifespan of lice is between two to seven weeks and they can lay anywhere between 50 and 300 eggs at a time, so they multiply quickly. Um, they live, only live on the host, so if they get off the host, they can't survive for very long and they <coughs> will die. Um, they're most commonly seen during the daytime and they're found on the feather shack. So they're not necessarily on the base, but they're on the actual feather. And the feathers will have a moth-like eaten appearance, so it looks like a moth, like chewed on their feather. And this is because they don't feed on the blood, they actually feed on the feather, the skin scales, and if they have any scabs. Um, if the bird is happen to be bleeding, they will feed on the blood, but that's not too common. And this is poultry lice, so it cannot affect humans. It's species specific. And this isn't as common as other parasites, but it is common in small flocks and floor raised birds. And this is a more common parasite found in poultry. They're called northern fowl mites. And these are smaller than mice. They're about one millimeter and they look like ground pepper. So this is a picture of... Maybe circle with your mouse, the brown yeah. pepper. I think I see what you're talking this about. This is a picture of the, a lot of mites. Um, and they're a darkish red black color. And their eggs, which you usually see the mites before you see the eggs, they're a white to off white color and they have eight legs. And the thing about northern fowl mites, they can live off of the host for three to four days. So even if you remove the bird from the infected area, um, the mites can still live there. And they're seen during the day or nighttime. And these are more commonly found along the feather shaft. And they do suck blood. They can live in all temperatures, so it doesn't really matter what season it is. And they live a lifespan of five to seven days. And they also lay a small number of eggs. However, since they have such a short lifespan, they multiply quickly and your bird can be infested with around 20,000 mites in just nine weeks. Um, so what do you do if there is an infestation? And this is just the kind of procedure we do if our chickens get mites. Um, we take them out of the chicken house and we give them baths. And this just consists of having like a big tub of warm water 
And we use Dawn dish soap and just sticking the bird in there. Obviously, don't get its head or ears or beak in there. And just washing it out. Um, and then rinse it with warm water. And if it's like winter time, we usually put a heater in front of them and keep them in, the, in a barn. But if it's like summer, you can just have them outside and they'll be fine. And after you give them a bath, um, you want to sanitize their pen. So we use Clorox and water. There's multiple different disinfectants. Um, and since mites can live off of the host, you want to make sure you scrub the pen good and make sure you get in all the cracks and crevices because they will live there. And then you'll want to let their chicken coop air out for a few days to make sure it's dry. And then you'll want to put clean shavings down and you can use seven dust, which you use on your garden as a pesticide. Um, you can sprinkle that in their bedding. Just make sure it doesn't get in their food or their water source. And then what we use on our birds, you can use, there's a variety of different sprays, but we use frontline spray that you would get for your dog or cat. And you can get that at Tractor Supply. And we spray it under each wing, at the base of the neck, the back feathers and the vent, well, around the vent. And you wanna make sure you spray it on the skin. And you do this every two weeks until you're sure that the mite problem is gone. And even if they don't have mites, it's okay to treat them as if they did because prevention is easier than treatment. So this is just some examples and you can get that stuff all at Tractor Supply. Um, so how do you prevent external parasites? When you get new birds, you want to quarantine them for two weeks, make sure they don't have any um, parasites, and if they do, treat them away from your other flock. Um, and if you get new flocks, you want to disinfect in between. And mites can travel on like pet carriers um, and other supplies, so you want to make sure those are clean before you enter um, your facilities. And early detection makes for easier treatment, like I said before, so it's easier to, um, if you detect it earlier, it's easier to treat than if you get an infestation. And also avoid bird-to-bird -bird contact. So mites and lice are spread through birds, including wild birds. So it's important to keep wild birds out of your chicken house. <coughs> Um, so what is the importance of parasite-free birds? They can spread rapidly, like I said, um, and they're, this will decrease their immune system, so they're more susceptible to diseases. The mites suck on the blood, so they will be, the birds will become anemic, and you can see this with decreased weight gain, decreased egg production, and eventually it will lead to death. And these are just some more pictures. Um, you can see how small the northern fowl mites are, but if your bird has them, you can see them. Um, and if they get on you, you can see them crawl as well. And the lice are a little bit bigger too. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Let's see if there are questions out there or comments. Questions, comments? I've got a question. Like you said, it, if it happens to our birds, right? Mm -hmm. So you must own some birds. How many birds do you have? I mean, because to wash birds, like, you don't yeah. have 10,000, I don't think. Yeah. Right, so like for large um, production farms, obviously they probably have a different way to go about treating it. And I know there's like medications you can put in their water. Um, so I'm sure large production farms do that. But we used to raise chickens, not so much anymore, but we would have probably around 75 show birds. Okay. So it's more manageable. You were more into show birds, and I could see yeah. washing 75, but I can't see washing 750 or something right. like that. And if you have exhibition that you take to shows, you are more likely to get mites just because you're mixing. Yeah, so it's always important to treat them after a show, even if you don't see mites.